The Sixth Sunday After Pentecost, Year A, from the Epistle to the Romans. God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do. In the name of our God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week address the connection between our behavior towards others and their receptiveness toward the word of the kingdom. Now there's this manifest destiny thing going on in our first reading, and we should be pretty suspicious of rhetoric like this. Rhetoric that claims others can't be trusted with nice things like land and birthrights. Paul and our psalmist call us to solidarity with those surrounded by trap setters like Jacob. Indeed, our own bodies, if we follow them blindly, can trap us on a pathway to death. It's only by setting our minds on the Spirit, only by attending to what's revealed by the lantern of God's Word, that we can honor our birthright as those reborn with Christ Jesus. Jesus came to us in the likeness of our sinful flesh, our birthright as human beings, flesh which craves bread and stew and primacy of place and even territory. And it was as one of us that Jesus condemned sin. Let us therefore acknowledge the just requirements of the law, not as something imposed upon us by an aloof and uncaring God, but as guidance offered to us to help us find the way to the kingdom by one who has undergone our suffering and who urges us onward to the life and peace promised to us beyond the law's requirements. Now, anyone who's done any gardening knows that soil doesn't get good or bad by itself. The Ten Commandments help us to prepare our own soil and that of our neighbors to receive the word of the kingdom. They're a birthright, a birthright we should neither despise nor trade away in our hour of need. Let us therefore hold fast to these and to all of God's word. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.